Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. Our living room furniture has finally arrived and I wanna see if you guys will help me figure out how to design this front room. Definitely stick around because we're gonna try about five or six different ways to design the living room and I couldn't do it without you guys, so let's jump right into it. Okay guys, so we have all of the couch pieces unpacked. And now we are gonna to start to assemble this room. There's a couple different ways I'm thinking about doing it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time to film this today, but definitely tomorrow. I'm thinking either two little couches here, an L shape. I could also do, take this out, cause we're gonna be doing a little remodeling in this area. So I could actually move this out and make this all one living room, which I'm actually leaning towards. Cause the idea of like serving food out here just seems so, it's like the last thing I, oh, Enzo. Do you love it? Do you love it? Oh, it's Enzo approved. This is my dream couch. Hi, do you love it? She was literally just hiding under here. So happy. Oh, you excited to see it all come together, miss? Oh, she's so cute. Oh, man. Okay, so I got, I'm gonna start building these. We're gonna see how it all lays out. So we are gonna start getting these put together and Enzo is going to be our supervisor in charge of safety and softness. Okay. All right, guys, let's get started. So before we get started, I wanted to show you guys the furniture that I picked up. I ended up going up with Article, which is one of my favorite brands. I used them when I redid the tasting room at the winery, and I've just been an absolute lover of Article since then. I love that they can make it really easy and affordable to make a space look so beautiful. As you guys know, our old house was very traditional, and this house is a little more contemporary modern, so I knew when we moved in that I was gonna be ordering some new stuff from Article. I love that they can transform any space with just a couple items. They have high quality furniture at really great prices. You guys are gonna be like shocked when you click the links down below and see how much this couch costs. It was, I'm shocked, I'm still shocked. In stock items deliver very fast. This took me 10 days to receive these two couches and I really do love that. So definitely check if you're gonna be ordering anything from Article, take a look and see what's in stock because it comes super fast and a great team brought it into the house and un unpack it on my own. They had a flat rate of 49 bucks and then free shipping if anything over $999. So. I love it inside every room. I ended up going with three different products to get started, but I am gonna be slowly adding way more into this house, especially after we put the hardwood floors in. But I went with the beta modular sofa, which you're gonna see. I, you can literally do anything with this sofa. It is so fun. And then I did a cabinet that's really beautiful with black with some really gorgeous gold hardware that I think will bring in that kind of black and white monochromatic look that I think will be great in this house. And then I also did end up getting a swivel chair that I wanted to just kind of keep in here for like when I'm putting shoes on or just on the phone and want to relax in this space. I thought this would be the perfect chair. So let's get started. I'm going to be doing about five or six different configurations of the couch and I need to know in the comments down below which one you guys like best. Once we decide we are going to put those couches where they belong and I'm going to get art up on the wall this weekend. So I cannot wait. Let's get started. So the first configuration I did was actually pull the centerpiece out of the couch and add it to the ends, almost making kind of a nice entryway into the living room. Since this is such a grand space, it was imperative that I take the table out, which I really enjoy now. It's much better for entertaining. And then I added some pops of fall in here just to kind of see what the colors look like. I love the elevation of those olive trees, but they definitely don't fit with the fall decor. So I decided to remove them as well. Thinking what would look beautiful on this cabinet would be a nice big mirror. So I'm gonna go try to find one in one of the other rooms and add it just to see what it looks like. But for now, I think it looks beautiful and I really like how this turned out. 
For the next configuration, I decided to remove the benches here that were almost like bookends to the fireplace and just add a very simple basket with some throw blankets. So when guests come over, if they want one or just if I wanna be pulling it in and out for decor, it's right there. I decided to actually remove the centerpieces to these couches completely out of the room and just make the couch smaller, which is 90 inches instead of what it usually is, which is about 120. So I think this looks cute if you wanted to have a conversation couch, you got the ability to have enough separation in this room and also be able to see your guests. I like having the benches behind the couch. I just think it allows you to put pops of really beautiful floral arrangements or any kind of decor there. I do like this. I feel that because we entertain so much, I needed to bring some chairs in. So I went ahead and grabbed two chairs from my bedroom and added them to this space. There's enough room for guests to walk around the chairs, be seated by the fireplace and enjoy a nice evening of conversation and maybe a glass of wine. I think I think this looks very cute. I don't mind the um, these little willow branches. I think they're a very subtle touch to fall, maybe more transitional if you are going to be decorating for Thanksgiving. This might be a look you're, you might enjoy better. I also like the deep reds and purples. I think it really does bring high contrast, but a beautiful nod to fall. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about that configuration. In an effort to maximize seating in this space, because it is a rather large room if you're just using it as a living room, I decided to bring back the centerpieces of the couch and add them to the end, almost like bookends to the fireplace, and then separate the room by adding the chairs on opposite ends. I like this. I feel like it's a very open concept. It allows for multiple conversations in a room, and lots of people to have plenty of places to sit. What I like about this is it allows me to use the entire couch. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys think. Our next configuration, I separated the couch and took out the centerpiece and kind of created little silo seating areas. So I added the chair in here um, and then added all four pieces to the four corners. I like this. I feel like it's very spread out. I think if I were to keep the living room like this, it almost doesn't have a very comfortable feeling, but I do like kind of this independent seating arrangement where everybody can kind of get comfortable in their own place. But tell me down in the comments what you guys think about that configuration and the bringing in the lamps to this area. I brought in the lamps from my bedroom and also the mirror and I'm really starting to like how this is turning out. I'm thinking of bringing in the black and white maps from the old house and almost bordering this mirror with those. But again, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. <laughs> Thank you. 
So for this configuration, I actually made the couch really long by taking the two center pieces, putting them in the middle, and then adding the ends. I actually really like the way this turns out. This is very family oriented. If we had a TV in here, this would be a nice cozy place for the whole family to watch a movie. But I do want to leave this living room a TV free zone. We do have a Sono system so I can play classical music or whatever and just enjoy family, reading, guests. I've been sitting in here quite a bit lately and I will have to tell you, you'll have to go to my Instagram at Mrs. Lauren Nicholson to see how I actually ended up doing this living room because it looks very different than what you're seeing on here. But I really do, I'm starting to like that. I also like the separation of the couch from kind of the walkway here. I think this turns out really beautiful. These lamps are really anchoring to this table, but it needs more height. So I think we're gonna have to use artwork to achieve that. But looking at it from this perspective, I really feel like it's coming together. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys think. Do you like the chairs over in this corner or do you feel like we could actually remove those and just have it all couch? What do you think, Enzo? Do you think we should keep it like this? Let me know in the comments down below. So for the last configuration, I actually removed the chairs and put them back in my room. I kept this area the same and it's really growing on me to have this mirror here and these lamps. I love this chair. The kids sit here or on the benches to put their shoes on in the morning and I really like having that space. And just by the door, I ended up just adding some really natural elements to bring in the fall feels, but I didn't go over the top in here like my last video. I will be transitioning all of this into Halloween, so I love that you guys actually get a chance to see how I actually have it here in the house and then here's what I ended up doing I ended up taking the two arms of the couch and adding them as bookends to the fireplace creating one more space for people to sit and to enjoy each other I also had some pieces you guys saw in my last video I had some new lamps that I brought in here so it looks starting to look a little bit more like home, but please tell me in the comments down below, out of all these configurations, which one you guys liked more, or maybe tell me a couple ways you would have done it if you were working with this incredible couch. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and enjoyed watching all the different configurations of the article couch and their beautiful cabinet and swivel chair. If you have any ideas on what I should do next, definitely tell me in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next video real soon. If you wanna check out any of the furniture I use today, it will be linked in the descriptions down below. Okay guys, I'll see you real soon. Bye.